four points. Maybe my wife can borrow the one. Second guy. in Discord that we're live. All right, All right. I'm gonna take, see if my wife is in a meeting, I'm gonna take her my plant. Uh, one second. We're back. Ooh, sorry about that. My plant, my poor plant. I did not want it to go a, uh, another day, another day without sun. So I was like, can I put, put my plant in your office? And she said, yes. My plant's hanging out with her. Ooh. All five, right. Five, four, four, three, three, two, two, one, one. Load up both chats. Out. All right, let's get this show on the road. Got some IO to get today. <clears throat> Hank has some plans for this this pool. I lust. We did just put our stun totem down, which is not great, but we have boobs. Ooh, we are trying everything. Stay with us. Totems down. Stay with us. Okay. Oh, oh. Totem just went down. Alright. Coming in. Not the worst start, not the best start to this dungeon, but we take those. Yeah, we need to. Oh, oh, oh. Why do I have aggro? Ooh. Now this key won't be too much of an upgrade for us, but um, it will be an upgrade. So that's why I'm. That's why we're here. As I go to cast in that person, they die to the last tick. Just bad play on my part. All 
All right, let's just muscle through. Help out the tank any way we can. I mean, we do have a pally who can help with the um, the debuff from these dread pedals, but we're not in control of the pally, so hard to know when they're doing that. Apparently my Omni CDs turned off on, on this character. They don't like, normally I'm pretty sure I track, um, what's the freedom? I usually track freedom on pallies. <clears throat> I'm really liking this totem, the healing stream totem. I don't normally run it, like I'm used to running Cloudburst. I mean, I really like Cloudburst, but I'm actually really liking the Healing Stream Totem. It does a lot of, like, a lot of healing. I mean, it's funny, because I'm literally getting out-healed by the Shadow Priest right now, but... Okay. Watch your feet. Boot these guys on ahead. I went the talent where <clears throat> my thunderstorm doesn't knock up, it knocks back. And I, I really like that this week. Ooh, we just gripped the guy in. You gotta watch out for the patrol too. Not sure if we're wanting to pull that just yet. <clears throat> uh, looks like we did pull it. We both CC the same guy. Ooh, we lost the tank. Uh-oh. Just wipe it up. Oof. It's okay. We've had worse starts to dungeons. <clears throat> I think the it's hard for a, a DK to live when Incorp goes off. No. But me and the Paladin both at the same level. Away. We have a lot of CC for the for the Incorp though. We have a lot of different casts that can really help. <clears throat> but ideally, we get the priest um, mind controlling. Once again, we got the patrol. I don't like holding patrols for like the last thing to pull. But welcome in everyone. Happy Friday. Hopefully your week's been well since the last time I streamed. Um, I've had a pretty chill week, all things considered. I'm, I'm really prepping for season four. I have a lot of things planned. Um, a lot of things that, I mean, I just, I'm going to have to, like, work overtime on the weekends. If I want to get it all done, but I'm like, hopefully by now y'all see that I'm very passionate about content creation. And I'll do whatever it takes to make it work. So I really want to get you guys the best stuff for Season 4. But a lot of exciting stuff. You know, when when most of these dungeons were... Um, oh my goodness, I cannot scoot my chair up. When most of the Season 4 dungeons were um, live, like it was their season, I wasn't a fan of all of them. Like, a lot of them I just did not enjoy. But some of them were, like, my favorites. Like, I loved Azure Vaults. Um, wait, Azure Vaults... Oh, oh, come on. How did he die that quick? Three, two, one. Um... Nice. We got them all. Yeah, I love Azure Vaults. Er, wait, I, I think I'm getting them mixed up. What am I trying to say? 
Oh my goodness. No, Halls of Infusion. I love Halls of Infusion. I hate a Deserve Vaults. That's, that sounds right. Um, it's like I'm not looking forward to having to go into Azure Vaults again, especially because... Um, ah, oh my goodness, the tank died again. Especially because they, they like nerfed it or basically buffed the dungeon against us. Uh, where now we can't do the, the skip to just make it take a lot less time. Um, which is annoying, but it's okay. Now, I'm, I'm not, I don't know, I'm hoping that they kind of like balance the dungeon in a way to where it's like, it's okay, uh oh. Uh, Leonov said, I'm a bit behind on videos. What is going to be your main, your healer main in Season 4? I'm still going to rock with the Monk. Uh, my guild needs a Monk in their raiding core. And I love Mistweaver, you know? And it's what I'm best at, so. Still rocking the Monk. But I'll definitely have, like, more... Instead of spreading so much across all the healers, I definitely think I'm going to have, like, one like secondary healer that i'm gonna play on like maybe have like a second raid guild that i'm gonna be playing with and stuff um and trying to get some mythic kills on another type of healer but i definitely am gonna kind of focus my time more next season to where um the mythic like the mythic plus pushing i'll, I'll definitely push higher than i did this season this season i kind of pushed until i was happy and then um just started playing alts, and, and I'm definitely going to focus it more next season. Uh, Terry, the Discord link is... Um, I don't know if it's working for YouTube. I don't know how to get it working for YouTube. I have it working on my my Twitch, but give me a second. After this um, dungeon, I'll definitely get you a link for, for the Discord, and I'll post it in chat. Um, hey, what's up, Ette? How are you doing? Ette, 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 How's it going? Uh, hi, I'm leveling Mr. Monk and Keys. If you get pushed out of melee, does it have any problems healing? Not really anymore. They've 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 really worked hard to kind of um, I don't know mitigate some of the downside that Monk has. Let's go and pop Lust once we can. Um, but yeah, th there were a lot of things that like sucked about playing a Mistweaver, but they've done their best to kind of fix those things or correct them. And one of those was um, healing, like having to heal whenever you're kind of taken away from the boss or the enemies that you're fighting. So nowadays we have a talent, Vivacious Vivification, which um, every 10 seconds you can get a an instant cast Vivify, which you can use while on the move. They've also made some changes to, um, to Thunder Focus T, where now it buffs, um, he's dominating, mining it. Uh, now Thunder Focus T can hit, um, you can use Thunder Focus T on Enveloping Mist, which is really good because it's just another button that you can press on the move. It's, I mean, a lot of times it's not the most optimal thing, but it's like if you need to do on-demand healing while on the move, like it's, it's just another option is what I'm trying to get at. Like, they've really changed a lot of things. Also, Spinning Crank Kick has like a pretty large range. So, I mean, if you're push out of melee a lot of times, like, yeah, your Rising Sun Kick might not hit, but um, your Spinning Crane Kick might. Hey, Zenry came in clutch, said, I'll drop it in the YouTube chat. I got my Discord link posted. Uh, at least it looks like it is. Three, I'm two, Zenry one. in Twitch. Ah. The same person. Well, you're, you are my go-to guy for Miss Weaver Knowledge. I just, I honestly, I just have such a passion for playing the spec, if I'm being totally honest. Um, but I don't know, as much as much fun as I have on some of the other specs, it's just nothing can compare, and I don't know, I feel like I've, I'm working toward building a community, and that to me is just very important. Um, so yeah, for, for the foreseeable future, I will always raid main Mistweaver, and, and when I raid main a spec, that means it's just going to get... All the Mythic Plus time, too, because, you know, those two things, you kind of have to grind one and the other. You know? Um, yeah, I, just, I absolutely love Mistweaver. And that, it's it's the driving force for the channel. I made the, the YouTube channel because of how much I love the spec. So it's 
I don't know, just... It's what I enjoy. <clears throat> Got the Berserker. So someone yesterday was asking, does CCing the, um, oh, we just got trucked. But does CCing the Berserker reset his internal cooldown? So there I just hexed the Berserker. He immediately broke out and then immediately went into the spin. So I, I'm, I don't think so. Uh, what trinkets will you go for in season four? Um, but I am the only warlock in my... Oh, sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm reading two messages. Hold on. I don't want to butt-cool anything. It looks like the Berserker cooled anyways, so... Gotta make sure no one dies here, and then I'll catch up on chat. A poison cleanse the tank. I don't want to die to the Berserker, so I'm gonna spot heal myself. Pop a defensive. Ooh, good grip from the DK. Yeah, this pack is always scary, so I'm just playing it extra cautiously. Ooh, two, one. Looking for a dominate mine? Yeah, he's got it. I'm not gonna poison cleansing totem here. I think the tank's okay. Uh, what trinkets am I going for in Season 4? I think, personally, if I have the choice, in Mythic Plus, I think I'm going to rock with... Um, as of now, what I've been liking on the PTR is Phyrax Tainted Ray Chart, and um, one of my favorite... I'm sorry, I just love this trinket, but the Brute Keeper's Promise. I love that trinket. The Diurna one that... Um, you tether yourself to a like a DPS or a tank and, and you just constantly have a rolling hot on you and you both get burst. I just enjoy that trinket. It reminds me of um, Shadowlands when I would play, uh, not Venthyr, Kyrian Druid and you'd have, what was it called? Kindred Spirits. So you would just um, tether yourself to an ally and both of you just get stats and you can empower it every now and then. But no, this is just on a trinket. It's really cool. It adds up and it just makes you feel beefier. Like you have more health to play with kind of thing. Um, so yeah, that, that's probably what I'm going to rock with if I get the option to. But if I, if, you know, if, if I'm only able to get one, um, di like, trinket from the vendor at first, I'm definitely going to go with Phyrax first for Mythic Plus, but I guess if my, it, 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 I guess it all depends on if my guild decides to raid, like, push Mythic during this season, season four. I doubt we do, but if we do, I'm going to have to go for, like, Rashox and... Uh, maybe the Neltharian's Trinket. Um, but if we don't decide to Mythic Raid, then yeah, I'll, I'll put all my focus into Mythic Plus Trinkets. So, um, yeah, those are, are likely my favorite too. But I think maybe the Neltharian Trinket could be as good as Diurna's as well, but... I don't know. I, I am someone who, who much rather prefers, like, um, survivability trinkets. And I, I love that survivability that that trinket gives you. I'm... Watching my tank here. That debuff is starting to truck him. Oof. I butt pulled. I don't know why I thought we had already pulled that. I'm gonna healing stream here. Or healing tide, I think is what it's called. But I think in a season four, there's just so many possible combinations. Like normally in, in normal seasons, you do just take your best two trinkets. But I think um, in season four, like whenever they do this kind of season four, it starts to become about the combination. It's like, like yeah, you could go like Bor Borellorellos or whatever that thing's called, and um, and Firex Tainted Rage Heart if you wanted to. It's like yeah, you do a lot of damage. Oh, my cast was so slow. You do a lot of damage and um, have that shielding. It's like, I don't know, is, is that necessary, you know? We need to eat some food. I need mana. Um, I really want to main a healer in Season 4, but I'm the only Warlock on my raid team. Oh, that's tragic. 
Just let them know. Season four is is like, you know, no wordplay intended, but it's it it is like the the season of discovery for a lot of guilds and stuff for a lot of players. I know in season four of Shadowlands, I just went back to maining Druid just because it had been like two seasons, and I I did really enjoy it. But I'm glad I did it because I was like. It would literally be every boss where we would just wipe and wipe and wipe, and I'm like, I wonder if I was on my druid if we would kill it. And then I got my answer in Season 4. No, we would not have killed it. Milking my mana bar, dude. Heal. Uh oh. I'll kick it. Nice. But I definitely think, like, especially as a monk, since we do enjoy our Naltharian's trinket, I definitely think it's also a big player. Um,. Just because of how powerful our Yulon and Chiji windows are, especially Yulon and raiding. Um, is that Fire Act Trinket only drops for tank? Yes, it only drops for tank. Um, and is the shield or the DPS part? And is it shield or the DPS part? People play it because of the shield, and then the DPS, I'm pretty sure, is just like a, a positive side effect. Ooh, person. Okay, I guess we're lusting... The next boss maybe but yeah it drops for tanks but if, if you're looking to get it for the vendor or if your guild knows that you push um mythic plus more than like other people in your guild they'll they'll probably give it to you um like i know some of the top mythic plus people oh no they just kind of like convince their guild like hey you know i play mythic plus more than you do you mind if i grab this and the tanks are like yeah sure but that's, I mean, that's a pretty unique two, case, I guess. One. Three, two, one. Come on, totems. I need you. I cannot be taking care of the, the affix right now. I need to be healing, but it was too late. Three, two, Jesus. Two, one. Oof, we are definitely gonna pop a defensive and just kick a water bolt to slow down the damage. Three, two, one. Let's get our primordial wave going. We're getting targeted. Gonna put down our healing stream. Three, two, one. Oh no, we built a wall. I can't get to you guys. Play safe. We're just gonna put another healing stream down to be safe. Wasn't the cleanest kill. We do still have lust Three, though. Two, one. Return to the Two, one. Plus, kind of came up at a weird point in the fight. Probably should have just sent it, but I don't know. Um, because of you, I am now able to learn Monk in a raid. Oh, that's awesome. I'm just trying to introduce as many people as I can to the spec that I think is the most fun in the game. <clears throat> yeah, definitely think we're we're looking for another or we're looking at another good season for um monks and both forms of content just we i mean we have just 
a lot of good trinkets for us. I mean, every healer does for the season four, but like I said, the Neltherian's trinket is just Three, huge. Two, one. Yeah, I cannot look, I cannot be the person that gets those. Oh, the cast hit us. Oh, that's so troll. These casts, dude, they hurt. in such a bad spot. Help! I'm stuck. Oh my god, I actually am stuck. Okay, we're chilling. No. I'm not chilling. I, why did I take the reincarn? Guys. Oh my god, that's so bad. Get away. I just took the reincarn. If this isn't my favorite Miss Weaver player, maybe I just need to stick to it. So I took my self-revive into the fire that I just died to, and then instantly died. Oh my god. Can you tell this is the first key of the stream? That was so bad. I just wiped us, but that was the worst play I think I've ever done. I can only laugh about that. What? Oh. That was so bad. That was so bad. Holy. Like, I legit got stuck in this tree, and my only way out was through the fire. Oh my god. That is so bad. That was, like, comically bad. Not with this shitty healer, I know, right? Oh my god. Oh, I'm afraid. Yeah, I don't want that to happen to me. Look at that guy bouncing around on his mound. Mound? His mount. <clears throat> Jesus. I mean, I guess now we send lust. Holy crap, that was horrible. <clears throat> Is that... F uh, let's see. I started playing Resto Druid as heal, but scared of Monk since it's melee. Yeah, it definitely is. Like, It's a different way to play the game, but... Um, I guess it is just something you have to get used to, but, yeah. <clears throat> I think with how much cat weaving druids do now, it's like, it is a little easier to kind of get used to from that point of view, but, oh my god, guys, how do we recover? This, I literally was, like, stuck in the cage. Oh my god. Uh. Three, two, one. You gotta shake it off. I'm kind of trapping myself over here, aren't I? I'm gonna pop it offensive.
Three, Oof, people. Two, one. Use my kick. Get away. Get away. Yes, fire. Fire will burn away the contagion. No, they will take you. Uh. I was casting into the priest. Oh, I'm trapped. I got trapped. Oh, it's just not meant to be. It is just not meant to be. <clears throat> not my day. <laughs> Uh, you could have Transcendence with Miss Weaver, yeah. Miss, no. Yeah, Miss Weaver has a lot of really cool tools. That tree is straight death. Yeah. Rip, yeah, fat rip. I was literally walking through the, the ice, and then a swirly was, like, right there. Just tragic. Wait, did you do it? You guys killed Firak? Man, I'm so hyped for you. Yeah, we did. Also, Marley, if, if you want to make some gold out of your efforts, I'm sure my guild would buy your... Your lockout, because we still have some people on our roster that we would need to get the kill. Um. Surely the cold will make them wither. Yeah, we we killed Fireac last night, so I'm I'm like riding that high, to where I'm just like I am just playing so bad. I'm his money friend. Oh. Rip. Oh, your EU? Oh, that sucks. Dang. Yeah, we definitely... That was that was all me. That wipe was all me. That was so... So bad. Like, so bad. Oh, my God. We really need a Throne of the Tides, though. Like, we, we desperately... If we get a, tw a Throne of the Tides, like a high one, like a 24, even like a 23, it possibly could put us at 3k on this character. Like, straight shot there. Um, but the problem is, like, I don't know what it is today. There are, like, no keys queuing up. EU. I feel like so many of you guys are EU. Um, are you still having fun, though, in the grand scheme of things? In this challenge, only on a specific few healers. Like, on the Shaman, I am still having fun. Even when I play like that. Like, I'm still having fun. Um, and the Holy Priest, too. On the rest of the characters, I'll be honest, Peter, I am not I am not having fun on, like, Paladin, uh, Druid, and I'm not having as much fun on the Evoker, to the point where I, I might just get them to 3k, and then, like, start making Season 4 videos, or just get um, Shaman and Holy Priest to 3k, or maybe even just Shaman, I don't even know, but I, I really am gonna put um, Season 4 content higher priority than getting some of these healers to 3k but for now i like it's like a per it's a vendetta like a personal thing like i have to get this shaman to 3k at least you know but like when you ask are you still having fun though in the grand scheme of things like I, i'm someone who like I, i've had very poor mental health in the past and i find that when gaming when my escape of gaming becomes not fun there's like a direct correlation with like my mental health like tanking. And I feel like that's a thing with everyone. If if your escape or if your what you enjoy isn't fun anymore, then it's just gonna lead to just horrible mental health. So I value my mental health so high that I'm like, I don't know, I I I don't want to sit there and grind, um, like hol holy paladin like I did disc priest and with only two weeks left. You know, I think there's, it's there's no shame in in saying um. Our shaman preferred okay i don't know though but i don't think there's like any shame in saying like we did what we could we just didn't have enough time we started too late in the season you know because um, a lot of people that did get all the healers to 3k they started like grinding every healer every week at the beginning i mean i'll sign up for it but it's a very minor upgrade 
a very minor upgrade. Join an OC ping. -y. Really need a Throne of the Tides, though. That's like the head and shoulders above the rest. That and Rise, I guess. There's a good Rise. There's the OCE one. That's it, though. Um, but I'm really happy for you, and by now I'm also fine with my raid lead calling it for going for CE this year. I could get some nice players for Season 4 for the last few days. There's things looking better. That's, I mean, yeah, that's good. It's always a glass half full way to see it because it's, I mean, it is. It's, it is like a positive, so you have to, if you dwell on the negative, you'll never see the positive, you know. Um, but I will say, Marley, it was easily my worst pool of the night. Like, the whole time we were in that pool, I was like, oh, I have less healing than I normally do here. Oh, I have a lot less healing than I normally do here. And then, like, we came into P3. It was only, like, our third time seeing P3. And I just, like, it was all a blur. It was all a blur. I was only healing the people that had seeds. I was just, like, only focusing mechanics. I did, like, no healing. So I ended with a 75 parse, which for how like how little I was healing compared to the rest of the pools, I'll take it. The boss died, you know, like I'm not one to care too much about parses, but I was like, man, it was the worst pool I've, I've had. What's up, Nick? Also, Nick, grats on the cutting edge fire rack as well. Nick's in my, my guild. Hey, and then wow, zapped. Hey, Ninja, what are your predictions for the meta healer next season? Miss Weaver stay on top. Yeah, I mean, not much is changing about Miss Weaver because we're keeping our tier set, and um, we're looking to you know just be as powerful, if not more, because there will be more people that have access to the the big trinkets. And yeah, I think I think Miss Weavers also have a, a couple more trinket options than other people. Um, so I definitely think Miss Weaver is still going to remain at the top, but it's all pretty comp dependent at the top level like if you're looking to push like current plus 30 keys and stuff if you have a monk then you'll have like a, a shadow priest and like if you have a, a resto druid then you won't have a balanced druid. you know like it's all comp dependent so it really depends on the push group but i would expect for like the plus 20 keys and above like miss weaver is probably still going to be pretty popular um resto drew is probably still going to be pretty popular I, you know what? I do think Shaman and um, Shaman and Evoker are changing tier sets. And I think the Shaman one is like pretty good. It actually has some damage capability because it they're two-piece. I'm pretty sure this is how it works. Um, they're two-piece while their, their Cloud Burst is down. They just get crit damage. Like their crits do a bit more damage. But then while... Um, I guess we can do a Black Rook 23... But then their four piece only affects the healing. Like two piece affects crit damage and crit healing, but their four piece only affects healing. I'm pretty sure. Um, let's see. Peter said, I respect it. Nice mentality. Keep rocking in the free world. Absolutely. Yeah, I definitely think every everyone in, in my chat, especially, y'all should just do what makes you happy. And um if if you're playing a game and it's not making you happy, then take a break and go, you know, go play a couple league games which i guess is probably horrible for your mental health and and then go play like a single player game like go play skyrim or, or rerun an old pokemon game and then come back to wow once the new patch comes out you know like it definitely is a good way to stay mentally healthy i think uh yeah boss dead that's all that counts yeah um hey thanks grass to you too we wouldn't have been able to do it without you nick yeah, honestly, if I had the choice to reprog Firac or take a break, I would absolutely take a break. So, Marley, you have no idea how, how much you're lucking out, for real. There were definitely some frustrating nights. Man, I don't know if we're going to get any good keys. Do, do any, I, at this point, I'm like, hey, why am I doing the whole pug thing? If any of you guys have, like, a Throne of the Tides 23 or 24 absolutely throw that sucker up because we just we we need to get this character to, to 3k so i can move on with my life you know <clears throat> like there are some of these like dark art 24 you won't get accepted accepted into that wme group unless you have a password i've been accepted in a one before but yeah i know i know that's how those groups work i just still queue up for it 
but correct me if I'm wrong, WME is, y'all had told me about this a couple weeks back. It's like a, a community where they're just, they're basically just fun, loving, chill, like no toxicity allowed kind of thing, right? Um, which I try to have that, like, I, I do have that mentality, hopefully, like in my groups. And I don't really retaliate or, or get toxic or anything, but I'm not a, an official member, you know? <clears throat> oh, Keys, where are you? Wow made easy. Ah, okay. Password for that one is birds aren't real if you want to reply to the flag record. I'm okay, Nick. <laughs> no chill, no rage discord. Okay, yeah. I mean, Waycrest Manor 20. Is an upgrade, but yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like if we just do a throne, the throne is the big upgrade that we can get. So if we just knock this out of the way, I mean, like a throne 22 would be nice, but it's like a 23 or 24 would like, ooh, a 24 black rope too would be huge. This throne 24 would like put us there basically. Yeah, I knew we would get accepted to the 22. So you aren't finishing the, the challenge. I kind of arrived in the middle of the mental health conversation and I'm not sure what's going on. No, I'm just saying like, there's just so little time left. I don't know how we would be able to get the last few, especially because if you look, there are just less and less queues going up every day. So we spend like 30 minutes in a queue and it's just, there's, there's so little time, you know? Uh, like I said, I'll do what I can. But I think I, I was just saying there's like no shame and, and if I do have to call it, I think for, let's see, how do I word this? I think as a content creator, it's more important for me to give you guys high quality season four content than to like just do literally whatever it takes, play 24 hours a day until we get this challenge done. You know what I mean? Um, but we are going to try, at least, to get as much done as we can. Um, also, life seems to get a little more relaxed for me right now. Um, I was caring for my grandparents since November last year, so everything was very hectic the last months, and it gets better. Yeah, definitely having... That's good. They, lead, they need less and less help. That's good. Um, having that extra time every week, like the six hours or eight hours, or for some even like nine hours a week, um, by stepping down rating is like the amount of stuff you can get done in that amount of time is crazy like crazy um yeah also one thing sorry that um i haven't really talked about but with with um yeah you meant chill i, I picked up what, what you're talking about aj but i picked up what you meant um but one thing that i haven't even mentioned is since the whole break the meta thing started one of the healers that we still have to get keys on is um Resto Druid. It's Resto Druid. And, like, I tried to queue up for keys, and it's, like, it's even more impossible to get into a key as Resto Druid now than it was before. It's just, ugh, brutal. But, yeah, if, if we ever do do this challenge again and, like, revisit this challenge, I would definitely start at the beginning of a season because I definitely cut myself short by a lot. Because think about how many people... Are playing the game at the start of a season versus how many people are playing at the end of a season yeah it's it's definitely you definitely have a lot more options and get invited into a lot more key. yeah my old guild the one that I started raiding with they're they're also taking a break they had just seen tendril p3 and they just said hey let's just call it we got seven out of nine mythic and um, we're happy with that and I think Everyone in that group kind of did a sigh of relief, too, so. Yeah, but now, throne 22. I don't know how much IO we can get since our, our other throne was a, a 22 chest. Also, I think we will want Cloud Burst Totem. But it's kind of like a struggle. Healing Stream will help a bit more with... Um, uh, Oh my god, what's it called? Crushing Depths. Whereas Cloud Burst will help a lot more in the final the final hallway, the gauntlet. 
So it is, I don't know, but the gauntlet kind of depends on, on how well the team does it. Let's see. Are there any other, like, utility buttons that are good in this dungeon? I don't know. Move all Mimba Imperium effects. Plus wind hurls you forward. Oh, that's cool. Flurry. That that must be like a enhancement shaman talent. Worrying about melee attacks and stuff. Yeah, all these melee buttons just feel so weird, or melee talents feel so weird on on Resto Shaman. Oof. Gosh, that's loud in my ear. Five, All right, it's showtime, four, guys. Four, three, three, two, two, one, one. Is the monk here? Yeah. Like this would this isn't a break the meta con because I think Paladin Rep Pally is not accepted. And depending on what spec this shot this warlock is, they could also not be expected. Do I lust here? I'm gonna lust. some heals into the tank. It's kind of weird that Balance Druid, or um, Guardian Druid is not break the meta. I mean, it's, I know they're not meta, so like it, obviously it makes sense, but it's just weird how good they've been historically since I've started playing. Seeing them kind of fall this low, I guess. Really, I'm still not healed. Ooh. That was crushing deaths. Me again. Can't help but get offended from that. some totems down. Gotta get some healing going. St oh my god, stat. I was healing into the wrong person. Also, what the hell? I literally hexed you. What? Am I crazy? Yeah, I definitely think I'm just more accustomed to Cloudburst Totem. By a lot too, it's just what I play with the most. Three, two, one. Someone else is gonna have to get that one. I'm apparently out of range. We're lucky that the, the bolt went to us though. Bro, what is happening with these guys? We're gonna get ready to LOS if we can, but we can't. Ugh. All right, not the cleanest start. Chilling though. Chilling. Um, also, oh, but it still don't have the damn legendary axe. Oh no, Marley. Oh, still hasn't gotten the legendary axe. Crazy. Was out of range.
I mean, thing jumping around. We're gonna have ascendancy up for the double crushing death spool. I went ahead and used my other little thing, whatever it's called. Three, two. I think we're okay on mana. We'll see, though. Not pretty. Alright. On us, we popped a defensive. Stone. Alright, we made it. Double Sentinel Pool. A okay. Welcome in, everyone. I said this earlier, but I don't think a lot of us were here. But I hope y'all have a good weekend, a good Friday. Um, I'm glad y'all made it to the stream. Hopefully your week's your week. Hopefully your week has gone well. Um, ooh, that clapped me. What the heck? Hopefully you're having a good week. I'm having a pretty chill week. Um, got a lot of stuff coming up though. So this weekend and then next week are going to be. Pretty hectic. Um, a lot of work to do, but a lot of cool stuff planned. Oof. Don't like that. Oh, we turn off the sound. I don't like this pool, if I'm being totally honest. Not, not a fan. Also, I just stood in the acid puddle because I could not see it. Watch your feet. Can't help but think this was an accident of a pool. Can't help but think did not mean to pull all of that. Oh goodness. Y'all know these Friday streams are always wacky and wild. This is when the, the crazy stuff happens. What is this monk's name? What does it mean? Definitely a weird one. Looked like we pulled these guys and the Ravager. Oh my goodness. What are we waiting on? What's the big hold up? How can I see, like, the first little hallway of Throne? I mean, I can't. But the Warlock is offline, and the Druid is literally just nowhere. What, what, are, we, what are we doing? You know, like, what's the point of this? This is so stupid. <laughs> the monk is just spinning in circles. I love it. Uh, top left. Like. Me. Oh, here. 
Ah! Okay, so the druid... Yeah, the druid's running out of the dungeon. I don't get it. Don't get it. Ah, oh, people. All right, look. Let me let me throw up a poll because I mean we can just sit here and bang our heads against this this wall all day, or I'll let, I could let you guys kind of decide what we're doing. And you know what? Actually, we get invited to a twenty-four that we need. So let me see what you guys think. Um, I'm gonna start a poll on Twitch chat. I don't know if there's a way to do like a poll on Twitch and. Uh, YouTube. I'm gonna start a poll. Just see what you guys want to see. A poll question. What? Throwing up a couple options, and I'm gonna let the I'm gonna let it go for three minutes so y'all can cast a vote on on Twitch. But there's a poll: what you guys want to see? Uh, Mythic twenties with followers win. Hey, if y'all have keys that I need at this point, I'll, I'll I'll join up your keys. Yeah, threw up a poll. Here are the options for those of you who are on YouTube, and I'll I'll count your YouTube comments as well. So option one. You want to see PTR monk testing. Option two is PTR alt testing. That can be any healer. Retail monk keys. So do y'all want to see me try to get some last second little IO that doesn't really matter on, on retail, which at this point would probably mean sitting in queues just as long. Or option four is plunder storms. So that way y'all YouTube people can also uh, vote. If y'all have a, a, a choice or if y'all have a preference. What you guys want to see after, I guess, after this key that we're waiting on. Which, look, it's a 24 rise. It, it could literally go any way. In fact, I don't think... I just don't know if, if, if the pug group can have it. So for those that are just joining, what do you guys want to see? Do you want to see PTR monk testing? Which it looks like is winning out. Um, thunderstorms, alt testing... On the on the PTR and then retail monk keys. All up to you guys. PTR monk testing. Okay, so we're gonna hop on the PTR. Flames monkeys. I think I'm just gonna let these guys find a better healer. I am so sorry, team. Yeah, it's it's looking like it's gonna win. We got a couple people for retail monk keys though. But it's still looking like PTR Monk testing is, is just slam dunk in this one. Uh, so either way, we're going to log out. I'll go ahead and load up the PTR. But either way, it's looking like y'all want to, y'all just want to see me play. Y'all want to see Monk Boy do Monk things. So that makes sense to me. Uh, now, okay, <laughs> hold on. There is a caveat. On the PTR, I don't know what is wrong. Maybe y'all can help me diagnose it. But I just, I have actual zero sound. <laughs> and maybe I should have mentioned this before. But there's literally zero sound. I've reinstalled, I've uninstalled and reinstalled the PTR. I've done all that. There is no sound that I can get on the PTR. But you know what? I can play some, some background. Um, I have a little subscription to a thing that lets me play music. Um, no, so five playlist. That's that's about all we get for gaming playlist. Um. Oh. 
Uh, there's a an esports chilled gaming. That sounds like us. We're just gonna play it, and I'm gonna turn the volume down really quickly, but it might get loud here for like two seconds. Not that bad. Good little too chilled gaming. Too chill, too chill. Huh. Music for creators. I, I have to use like one of these websites. Okay, but there's a 50-50 chance the music sucks, so we're just not even gonna risk it. But okay, we're gonna load up the PTR. We are on the PTR, I don't know why I just said we're gonna load it up. I'm gonna close out of retail. Um, we're going to change the stream title and let's rock some PTR keys. What do you guys say? Just curious, how would PTR monk testing be different from right now? It's just the dungeons. The dungeons are different and the trinkets, like all the gearing is different. Like the, the tier set's not different, but like testing dungeons is. Um, I'm just going to change it to PTR mist weaver random. All right, and this way also I get, I'll play with you guys if, if y'all want to. Um, why did this not close? Did it not just close out? There it is. Um, okay, so I just don't know why there's no sound. I really don't, but look for a dungeon. Now I have, I've only been playing a select few of the dungeons because I'm working on videos for them. Um, so some of these, the mechanics, just I do not remember. I'll be totally honest. Like, I'll have to sit down and, and slam them more. But we're going to do some keys, and we're going to start off with everyone's favorite key. Where is it? One of these guys. There he is. We're going to get an Algathar. We're going to just go with, like, a 10, I guess. 10s, I'm pretty sure I like the new 20s. Is how it's working, but tens don't seem too bad. You will lose some people, and it's also hard to tell like who knows what's up on the PTR. But where is my keystone? There it is. Oh, pull all the keystone stuff down here. It is very silent, like very silent. Uh, not that, not that, not that. Those are old. Where was it? Um, ooh, we can do a Halls of Infusion. Everyone loves Halls of Infusion. In fact, I'm gonna go ahead and buy this just so we have it. Um, Fortified, Algathar. Um, go Tyrannical, we can do a Tyrannical Halls of Infusion. That sounds pretty hellish, but I would do it. Um, affixes, we can just go with like, I don't know, we can do just ones that people don't have to change their talents for. So volcanic, people usually do volcanic and entangling. We'll just rock with those. Um, so let's put all these clumped together. Where'd the other ones go? Waycrest, there they are. Port, there's one, there's one. There's one, okay. Oh no, I just sold it, okay. Uh, all right guys, give me a second. We'll get this rolling. Okay, Algathar. We're gonna do Fortified. We're gonna do Volcanic and Entangling. I already have three affixes. Hold up. There are three affixes on this key. I don't know what went wrong, but we're just going to throw it up. Nope, that's not it. Um, start a group. Ten, and y'all can join up for those that are on the PTR. But we're going to do a ten Algathar. Plus ten. Let's do it. We'll slam it. Now this game is also a lot harder without sound. My bag organization. This is my PTR bag. This is not what my current bags look like. But yeah, 
there's stuff all over the place like and there's stuff from old seasons and stuff like yeah ptr bags are definitely not it um for sure i don't even know where my stuff is yeah <laughs> I'm a little, I'm slightly more organized on live, but not by much, not by much at all. All right, let me get chat pulled up again. I get my YouTube chat popped out. Okay, we're starting off with an Algathar and then we'll go into a Halls of Confusion, I'm thinking. Um, options. Because, like, look, my audio is, no matter what I change it to, it just does not play audio for me. I have no idea why. If y'all have any clues, then, I mean, I'll, I'll turn everything on. Just don't know. Oh, we got some people queuing up. Uh, a Guardian Druid. A Rep Pally. Rep Pally seemed good. Oh, also, let's change our trinkets. I literally don't have any equip from our video. Let's run with... Let's run Rashox. Test it out a bit. Now let's run Broodkeeper's Promise. I want to show you guys the truth of this trinket. Um, meanwhile, I guess... We could change some things around. Ooh, some 520 gears. I'm using chat GPT to generate us a, a playlist. I put gaming, chill, fun, happy, fast. That's that's literally all the words I gave it. It's giving me a playlist that we can have in the background. But I have no control over if it's good or not. We'll play it low volume since I don't have game volume on PTR. Just rock it. Yeah. Uh, What's different about PTR Monk is the like the gear you can test different gear. Like I have these rings on. I don't have boots or a belt. Like yeah, we just test different pieces of gear. Can test different stat weights and stuff. Here we have a ton of mastery because a lot of these pieces I can't get it off of. Like the weapon. I guess we could go with a two-hand weapon. Um And weapon. I think there's like one big one. Yeah, here. But that still gives haste mastery. I and mean, we can just rock it and see. We could just swap out one our one hand. I might do, yeah. Take some of this mastery away. Golly, look at that mastery. Yeah, the the rings. We could take off this ring. Get one of these rings. For I think there's verse. Is this not the one that I have equipped? Might be. A crit haste. Um. All right. Sure, we'll accept you. Is the one I had equipped. Yeah, double crit verse trinkets. Where is all that mastery coming from, though? I guess the hands, the offhand, maybe? No. There's a lot of mastery. I guess it's a lot less. We did swap out a ring, and that did change it. But we got the, the cloak from Sarkareth. Got, like, some of these fat rings. Like, is this the Aranog ring? We got Rash Shocks and Brewkeeper's Promise. We are ready to roll. I guess we could get um get some stuff. 
get a is there a sophic where's the sophic this guy no there's an enchanter guy the ptr is just so weird to navigate if i'm being honest that i already have that um Sophic. I'm looking for Sophic. I miss it. We did swap out our weapon. There it is. Didn't miss it. Alright. Now where did all that crap go in these bags? Oh boy. Doesn't help they look just like the keystone modifiers. And pop that while I'm looking at it. Um, am I crazy? There it is. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Let's at least enchant our weapon. Let's get head to the to the to the dungeon. Close the bag so y'all's anxiety goes away. All right, take me there. Whew. So we're gonna see just, I mean, the thing about Rashox is you can't really get a ton of like data from a Mythic Plus dungeon. So like maybe we don't run Rashox, maybe we do just run um run like a let's run Firax. No, Firax is really good. Let's run Let's run Death Snare. I want some believers here. Death Snare's kind of the truth. I don't know what it means by 489 and then 528 there, but um, oh, we also have to bind it, though. Do this. Great check. It is so weird playing WoW without noise. Like, there will definitely be some things that <laughs> I wish we had noise for. Um, let's do it. Algathar, everyone's favorite place. We all love Algathar Academy. I wonder where this tank's gonna take us. Ooh, speaking of tank taking us somewhere, we need to um, need to bind ourselves with our trinket. All right, we are now bound with the warlock. <clears throat> that guy gives crit. I think this is the guy we want. Or did I get it mixed up? Ah, yes, we get 5% verse for free. All right, squad. Move in. These mobs, these mobs are weird because they both get harder and easier as the pool goes on because the more you kill, obviously the easier it gets. But also these guys, the, the little jumpy fleas, they also slowly will enrage further and further to uh, become scary. So these pools are always kind of weird. Yeah, we have three affixes going. And also, one of these affixes is incorporeal. I don't know what how that's gonna be without sound. Incorp sounds kind of miserable. Yeah, as you as you move on with this pack, it like I said, it gets easier and harder at the same time. Why affixes? Look, buddy. Couldn't turn them off. <laughs> No, but also I, I have been testing a lot of the affixes on this dungeon. Like I wanted to test bursting, but literally the moment that it we got our first bursting, the person like the people left the group. Like people do not want to test affixes, but it's like that's kind of I don't know, it's it's very helpful to test affixes. Yeah, the swirlies. They are cast by the big guys, the big lashers. Um detonation seed. You just have to move out of them. So th these packs, you always have to stay on the move. 
I'm gonna try and CC as often as possible because the uh, the little lashers they do get scary after some time. Also, we didn't even use our damage trinket. What are we doing? We have damage on overall on. Also, if the music is either too loud or sucks, just let me know. I'll, I'll turn it off. It's just so it's not just me and my thoughts, you know? Um, it, it's also one affix too much, isn't it? Yeah. We definitely accidentally put too many affixes. It's okay, though. I wanted to... I also... I was testing Sanguine to see what all spawns Sanguine um, the other day, and that's why there's Sanguine on the key. And I accidentally just put a third affix on there before this, but... This dungeon is, this fight is really easy, but people make it so hard. Um, you basically just have to pocket your tank a bit, because he's he is taking some tank busters. But then once germinate starts, you just slowly move in a circle. And as long as everyone moves the same way, which I don't know why people move the other way. But literally, it's just as long as everyone moves the same way, it is such an easy thing. Then branch out. Spawns a big ad, which you just have to swap to. Kick it, which you have you have to kick it once every ten seconds, um, and then once after a few seconds of this big ad being out, he's gonna turn on like activate all of these little guys, and he does big damage. So that's when you usually pop your cooldowns. But we were able to kill all the little lashers. Uh, but now we want to stack on our tank, that way we can just move as a group because these spur these swirly spawn together. Okay, burst forth. That is what activates all these little guys. So now that all these little guys are activated. We're going to um, just dispel our tank because they do leave a debuff on the tank. It's a toxin, so not every healer has like easy access to a, a toxic dispel or a poison dispel, I'm sorry. Um, B, just dispel your tank as often as you can. Get those debuffs off from just nuking the tank. Yeah, now that the, the Lashers, when he first spawns them, they are not active. So you just, you just AoE them down. They're not scary at all. But then once this branch comes out, you just swap to it and it's pretty easy. And boss dead. Okay, boss one over. Affix three equipped. <laughs> I don't know why I have three affixes, guys. Try can control S. Yeah, I've tried tried that a bunch of times. It just it does not work. Um, have you tried control S on the PTR? You may, maybe press accidentally. Yeah, I've definitely toggled it on and off, um, and that is not it. I think it's just an error with the download. Which, by the way, I have downloaded. Um, I have downloaded. This again, like I've, I've uninstalled and reinstalled the PTR and it just, I could not get it. I still haven't used my DPS trinket. I don't know why I haven't, but we're, um, I'm gonna make sure and make a point to do it um, on this next boss platform because there's an AOE pack that I wanna use it on. But this guy's really easy. You'll see a lot of people dying in low keys because they either get booped off or just don't either LOS or move out of this giant circle. You see, we can move out of the circle or LOS it, or you could play the, you know, the, the, the risky take, and you could put yourself position, position yourself between this pillar and the, and the little guy, the Guardian Sentry, and get knocked into it. But that's like the worst way to deal with it. That's like emergency case only. But you see a lot of tanks do it if they want to spare a defensive on it. Um, yeah, that guy is not hard at all. Um, but as the healer, you do want to have some spot heals at the ready in case those winds do clip people. Okay, here we're going to pop our trinket, which uh, apparently did not work. Oh, I think it, I think it, I did pop it event at some point before, but no, thank you. I'll hide. Yeah, I hide every time. I, I never take that risk. I'll see people in like high end keys try to risk it and then they die every time. I'm like, why? Like maybe that works in like a plus. Well, nowadays a plus 15 would be the high end key, but it used to work in like low level keys, but now it does not. Okay, this platform has a couple different things. These alpha eagles, they'll cast call of the flock every now and then, which enrages everything around them if you let it go off. So everything will just start hitting harder. And on the surface, that's not like the worst thing. Like, oh, we can let a few casts go off. But from a tank's perspective, these, the little eagles, they cast peck, which is just a stacking bleed. And it just becomes nightmarish. Like, it's very hard to tank. You see the tank's health bar is already um, just chipping away. So, um, okay, now we're on to the fun boss. This boss, I'll be completely honest, I progged this um, 
entire dungeon so much when it was when it was like normal content and i did i just did not fully understand it but now i have a, a complete understanding of this boss and i actually love this boss like the design is so cool and you see all these little pecs going off into the tank um, and then you'll also see the alpha eagles turn to someone random and cast gust it doesn't i don't think it knocks you all the way off the platform but it knocks you enough to where you can fly off the platform um but it does a big chunk of damage so it's just why not uh move out of it also as a if you're a ranged healer like if you're playing like on your your disc priest for example you don't want to stand far out of these packs you kind of want to stand close in and the same goes for this boss uh you want to stand relatively close because um the the frontal it does is like a giant cone and the closer you are to the boss just the less you have to move to dodge the frontal because if you're right up against the boss the frontal the cone is like very narrow but if you're far away you'll have to move like a giant um like a circumference to or i guess arc oh no it's been a while guys math degree don't don't hold against me okay so this boss how it works savage peck just a tank buster um but where it gets really cool is its little basketball mechanics so you see its health percentage is at 89 percent i'll talk about deafening screech in a second but when you get it to um 75 and then once again like 45 percent i think um it's gonna kind of activate where the boss kind of just sits there and it says okay here's two basketball goals i'll spawn these basketballs and y'all go crazy now what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to put three of the basketball goals or the basketballs into these little hoops which we're gonna turn on the fire one first um and once you do that, it'll kind of reset the boss. And what do I mean by reset? Well, those deafening screeches, those deafening, deafening silence things, deafening screech, watch, I'm gonna pop Chigi here. They get stronger and stronger. They amp up by like 50% every time that the boss casts that mechanic. So what you have to do is you have to let a couple of them go off until they start to become a little too much to handle. You see here, we've had three go off and that third one I pop Chigi to give everyone a cheek cocoon. But this fourth one, everyone's gonna have to pop a defensive. Like I'm gonna pop a defensive. You see there, the, the de demon hunter almost died. So the boss continues to amp up. Um, and yeah, we, we honestly waited too long. And I'll get to that, why it's too long. But once you turn on one of the two goals by putting, like scoring three times into it, basically, the boss kind of does this and he kind of activates. So since we activated the fire one, these fire swirlies are just gonna spawn throughout the fight. And all you have to do is dodge them. However, that little phase he was in just now where he kind of sat there thinking about his life and his, his past mistakes and stuff, that phase, he takes increased damage. So that's why in pug groups, you'll see people always activate the fire one first. So like each, each one that you activate has like a downside and an upside. The upside to the fire one is you do increased damage for like, I think 12 seconds. The downside is fire swirlies. So bullet hell, it's not that bad of a, a downside, but it's a, a nice upside. And you see there, we phased them before we even had to do the second goal. Also, we did wait in, in too long to do the first goal um, because we had waited until he had already crossed that 45% threshold to, to dunk three times. Um, so yeah, um, also, Hey, Alden Rex with the sub. Hey, I appreciate the support. Sorry, I'm just now seeing that. Um, okay, so this platform is scary. There's a lot of ads, and you see here we are pulling a lot of them all at once. But the number one cast to watch out for is not kickable, it's it's CCable. Um, we'll wait until I've already kicked one, but it's Mystic Blast. Um, that's the one that you should look to use your like stuns on, your ring of pieces, you know, your your psychic screams. That's the scary one, because it just does massive AoE damage. Mana Void is also kind of scary, but it's a single target thing, and you can usually deal with it with a defensive, whereas the healer you can kind of heal them through it. But how Mana Void works, I kind of want to let some of these casts go off to show you guys. But how Mana Void works is whoever it casts it on, say it casts on me, I get this ring around me, kind of like that ring, and um, I'll slowly tick down. Like I, t I take some ticking damage. It's, it's pretty heavy damage, actually. But then after like four or five seconds, I think it's four seconds, um, the debuff pops. It pops. 
and it does massive damage to anyone in a little radius, and it also takes your mana. So that Mystic Blast is the must kick. So the Spellbound Scepters are the, the scary guys. Surge is just like a single target chunk damage. It's not a bad, but hopefully they'll let some of these casts go off so you guys can see it. We're also going to... Okay, nice. Use our DPS Trinket, see what, what damage we can do here. Also, I don't have my Broadcaster tool turned on with details. Mystic Blast, I kind of hope one gets off. Uh, that's kind of tragic. But, um, we can we can boot these guys away and out of thing. I guess we can move on with the pack. I'm not really using my DBS Trinket effectively. Okay, so these little serpents, there were some on the last platform. They basically just lunge at people. It's these this kind of reminds me of a tall Dazar, the 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 like eagle, the little things that just not eagles, but like little mini pterodactyl things. They just sit there and lunge at people. But then there's this giant serpent, the big one, the arcane ravager. Uh, there was also one on that last platform. He casts vicious ambush, which is also just a lunge at someone. It does like a little chunk of AOE damage. You see there, after he lunges to them, he'll just turn a, a direction and just breathe a line. And that line can chunk. Watch, he's gonna jump to this guy. He's just gonna turn and face us and cast Rift Breath. And look, I'll, I'll face tank it for a second, but it just melts your health bar. So you literally just, in this pack, you just target the Ravager and um, you just watch where he's looking. I always keep him, it's also he's the highest health. So um, you just keep him as your target. You, you cleave off of him, funnel into him and just watch his directional and you'll, you'll totally be chilling. Also, if you're wondering, the reason why I know like all this stuff. One, I play this dungeon a ton. Also, this pool is kind of scary because of all these surge casts will add up because you have to kick these monotonous lectures. Um, the monotonous lecture, if you let it go off, it'll put whoever it casts it on to sleep. Almost indefinitely. It's for 30 seconds, I'm pretty sure. But it's a long sleep and um, it's just annoying. And if it hits you, the healer, no one can really dispel you. Um, but yeah, the reason why I know like all the little ins and outs of like every pool is because I am working on a guide series for all these dungeons, but not just any guide series. There are so many people making guides um, on this dungeon or on this um, game. I I'm trying to make a, a guide specifically for healers, um, just cutting out all the stuff that healers do not need to like really worry about. Not really worry about, but it's just you know when you're watching a guy and they kind of start talking about like um, what DPS should do, and you're just like, I, I, that's just taking up brain power, you know. Um, no, I, I, I think there needs to be a guide that literally just gives us healers everything that we need to know. And like, yeah, I'll touch on some of the tank buster stuff, like when to just prioritize healing on tank. Hey, watch your DPS. Hey, if this person gets this debuff, watch them and stuff. But um, yeah, for the most part, I'll just be like, hey, this mechanic, I usually combat it with these um, defensives or these cooldowns. Um, so this boss, you see these orbs spawn around the boss. You soak it, you get a little debuff. Um, on yourself and it stacks so if you soak two you'll have two stacks of the debuff um, but where it gets scary is if you soak two the second one does more damage so the more you soak the more damage they do um oof he got clapped it's like look i'll soak a, a second one. Oh, never mind looks like someone beat me to it but if you soak a second one while you already have the debuff you take more damage okay arcane fissure is his like enrage he pushes you back, and then you start just, it's its bullet hell. But he does big damage to you, so you just, as a healer, you have to have, like, um, cheeky coons on people, or be ready for it. You see the, the Warlock had two stacks on him, so we dispelled him, and we, we spot healed him, because he was going to take more damage if he soaked more. But as a healer, all you do, you just dispel as many people as you can on cooldown. You try your best to soak... Um, you, you, everyone at least soaks one orb, but if you can, you can soak two by dispelling. And you see here, you have people running out with that debuff and also soaking two orbs. That is scary. If you, if you're one of the three people that gets marked with, um, his big cooldown, then, um, which I, I keep forgetting the, the, the name of the cast. Ooh, the tank is going through it right now. So we're going to. Be a little careful. Mana bombs. Mana bombs. If you're one of the three people he marks with that, you usually hold off on soaking. 
And there, I was, I was pretty bad as the healer about my cooldowns, but I should have had Chi Chi rolling through mana bombs. But if you're one of the three people that, that gets marked by that, you usually pop a defensive and just hold off until it pops on you to soak. You only need to know two things. <laughs> it's the tank's fault. It's the DPS's fault. You know what? That is perfect healer mentality. I can't see anything wrong with it. You see there, Mystic Blast almost went off. But let's watch this Surge. You see Surge went off. It chunked the, the Demon Hunter's health bar. The problem is, is yes, you want to try to kick as many Surges as you can. But as a healer, you want to prioritize your your um, picks on surges that matter. Meaning, like if you see two surges going off on the same person, or if multiple surges are are going off at the same time, try and kick one just to mitigate like the risk of someone dying. But if only one surge is going off, there are so many other high priority kicks like mana bot or mana void, whatever it's called, is a slightly higher priority because it does more damage and it's not all instant damage, so it's a little harder to heal. Um, yeah, this pool, this pool is really weird because you can kind of cheese it. Hopefully they do it. Hopefully they, they let us cheese it. Uh, the tank is not going to let us cheese it. But, um, so these guys, they'll sit there and they'll just spin kind of like us. Look, we're one in the same, but, uh, what you can do is this goes for everyone, not just healers. So one, you can stun them if you need to slow down the damage that's coming in. Um, but you can use the stairs to cheese this mechanic. I'm pretty sure it still works. So I was doing it in one key. I also tried it and, and died in one key. So, um, yeah, oof. Since we're not on the stairs, we're just making this so much harder on ourselves. But how the game is coded is you're basically like, I'm pretty sure how it works is you're like, you know what? Don't quote me on this because I don't know the exact ins and outs, but um, I just know it, it, it's how I cheese this mechanic. If you're on like a completely different level, as one of these guys that's spinning, so say the guy is spinning right here, and you're just like down here spinning crank kicking, but you're in his little circle, you're just on a different level, like a very different level, it just won't hit you. It's it's like really like quirky and funny. Uh-oh. Um, so these pools, there's a lot of casts that go off. Arcane Missiles is just like a, a tank um, slice, so you, I mean, you want to limit how many of those are going off, but you don't really have to worry too much about it. We're standing in the whirlwind, so we're taking big chunks of damage. Uh, we're going to throw out our stuns. There's a lot of stuff happening. Just try our best to slow it down. The arcane missiles, you don't you don't have to worry about a lot of them. But Astral Bomb is scary. It, it's, um, it can risk someone dying. You see, I have an Astral Bomb on me. After a few seconds, it'll pop. Um, so you do just want to limit the amount of casts that go off here. There, I would, I would prioritize um, everything over arcane missiles. Astral Bomb went off. It's on this guy. Doing what I can to survive. Also, not having sounds is really hard on these Echo Knights. Usually the sound cues and also the the, the affix is, is rough without sound. Yeah, seeing the spinnies, you have to... Usually the, the sound kind of tips you off that you need to move. But, I mean, that is basically Algothar Academy. Now, as the healer, this is kind of a healer fight. All fights are kind of healer fights. Um, but this boss is really easy. So you see those little swirls on the ground? Those are just going to be shooting out bullets all over the place. Um, and your job as the healer, you're going to see Energy Bomb. He marks one person with Energy Bomb, and you... Are now um, you have a debuff. You see, I had a debuff. I could dispel it off myself, or I could just let it time out. Either way is fine. I like to, to dispel them if I know they're in a good spot. Uh oh. Um, so energy bomb is on the paladin now. I'm gonna wait till he gets like far out, because when you dispel that that debuff, it drops another bullet hell, or at least it used to. I guess it. I don't know why it's not, but. Yeah, I guess if you if you let it time out, it it only does it. So like, let's let this one time out. No, let's just dispel him. I don't I don't want him to get mad. Okay, so yeah, that one. Maybe it's like after it gets to a certain threshold. I don't know. I, I guess it changed or, or something's changed. But yeah, you see now there's another bullet hell. Okay, no, yeah. So there are a lot more. There are more bullet hells now. So you got to watch out. The longer this fight goes on, the the more bullet hell this room gets. You usually try to drop your energy bombs um, close to where there's already one. 
That way you don't kind of change all the directions. Like, see, this one was a bad drop, but since it's already there, we're going to drop ours here so things all kind of come from the same area. That makes sense. Other than that, you just watch the frontal. You watch how you're going to get yoinked. You don't want to get yoinked through a bunch of stuff. Yeah, it's, it's really hard to manage the room now. Oof. We had a bad drop over there. We kind of had to play into it. Yeah, you just It's just bullet hell. And as the healer managing these debuffs. And you always want to watch where the people are. If you're going to dispel them, you want to make sure you're dispelling them in a good spot. Uh-oh. Someone got hit by a frontal. I hate to see it. Energy bomb on the paladin again. Let's speed boost him. Oh, okay, so it's it is it's when you get hit is when I dropped one. So let's get hit by one over here. I guess not. I don't know, man. It's behaving weird. He's in a good spot. We're gonna Che loons everyone to fool. Easy peasy. Algathar 10 done. Right, let's look at our trinket. I did not use our trinket a ton at all. But still, it did 7.2%. How many times did I cast my trinket? I guess seven casts. What a horrible amount. I, I could have cast a, a ton more there, but... Agathar Academy is, is a fun dungeon. A lot of people like it because of the, the tree boss room. You just get to do like giant pools. Just chain CC it. It's really fun. Ah, okay. Once you're on the third stack of the debuff, it'll drop pools. Gotcha. So, so it's like um, the first two don't drop pools, then after that they do. And they were scared of Affix. I know, like the only time people died was when they, when they took too much avoidable damage. Yeah, tens aren't that bad. Tens are really not that bad. All right, let's move into Halls of Infusion. This was my favorite dungeon when it was in its current... Um, thing, but I haven't done it yet on, on the PTR. That's kind of why I'm wanting to. Um, so we'll see how much of, of Halls of... That was an example of me knowing a lot of the ins and outs of a dungeon. Like, just off the top of my head. Um, we're about to jump into one that is going to be... I'm going to be like, oh yeah, this does that. <laughs> as I die to it, you know? So let's jump into it. Let's um, fix our key up. Where is our key? Back in the bags we go. Um... Not as your vault. Go. Incorp Sanguine, that's fine. Uh, where is it? Halls. Do it. I guess we could reset the affixes. Let's do, let's do Tyrannical Halls of Infusion. What do you guys say? Tyrannical Fortified? What is going on, dude? How do I reset that? A tyrannical and fortified incorporeal, incorporeal and sanguine. Do we just crack a new key and start over? What's going on, dude? Okay. Oh, it's because this is our old school key. We needed, we needed to be changing this one. That's an oopsie. Okay, halls. Make it a ten. Where's our ten modifier? Halls ten. Let's just do uh, tyrannical. Everyone loves tyrannical halls. Um, volcanic and entangling. Just too easy. Entangling is actually kind of rough on this this dungeon, I'll be honest. Because a lot of um quick movement matters. If I'm if I'm remembering some mechanics uh correctly. Alright, let's start this group. Halls in list it. So the reason why I'm doing tyrannical halls is because the bosses the bosses and the first few ad pools are the difficult part. Especially the bosses, though. Especially the third boss for us healers. But I love that boss because it is such a challenge. Um, so if y'all are on the PTR, go ahead and queue up. Um, let's let's slam a key. Ugh. Yeah, Miss Weaver, as you can see, pretty fun. Oh, uh, what trinkets am I running? That key I was running. A DPS trinket, Ice Blood's Death Snare, and Blood Brewkeeper's Promise, just a stat stick slash self-sustain slash healing. Let's see how much healing it did. 
Brewkeepers Promise did only about 5% of our healing, but over the dungeon, us and another player just had 2.5 million more health to deal with or to, to boot. So maybe, I don't know, maybe that's that's good in raiding, I guess, but I don't know if it's going to cut it in Mythic Plus. Let's try out two more, uh, two more trinkets. Let's see. Let's try our good old Neltharian's Call to Dominance. Um, let's try Beacon. I love Beacon. I am such a Beacon enjoyer. Hey, what's up, Nev? Welcome in. Neltharians and Rashox? Okay, let's try out Rashox then. Uh, Neltharians, Rashox. Where you at? Neltharians, Rashox, the dream team. Let's, uh, I was going to say let's make a, a weak aura for our trinket, but we're not going to run that trinket now. So. Uh, it looks like no one, everyone's afraid of the Halls of Infusion. What's going on? Either way, your play. The thing is, like, Rashox is really hard to test in Mythic Plus. Like, it's hard to get a lot of information from. Um, it's it's a lot, since you would run it and, and raid more often, it's just harder to gather from. So, I say we slam a beacon key. Let's make a, a weak aura for our trinket while we wait on people to queue up. Um, duplicate this Iridol one. Let's say, Beacon, Beacon, Trigger, Beacon, Beacon, what, what's the exact wording on it? Beacon to the beyond, to the beyond. Uh, and if we have load, if we have item equipped, item equipped, beacon. Beacon, to the beacon. Um, where'd it go? There it is. At work, our ear doll's still showing. Hey, your ear doll's showing. Delete that. Okay, we have beacon. Rocking and rolling on our UI. I didn't really notice much mana issues last run anyway for it. Yeah, I, I literally was sitting at 20 mana T stacks the whole time. So Rash Shocks, that's why I'm thinking. Rash Shocks, you would use it for the rest of its utility outside of the mana. Um, the mana help it gives. You'd use it for like the little healing capability and and the, the verse that, that you give to other people if you run it in Mythic Plus. The mana is just like a, a positive side effect in Mythic Plus because our mana is so good there. That's what I'm saying is like, it's hard to gain information from Rashox and Mythic Plus testing because it um, it's just like main benefit. You don't really benefit from in, in Mythic Plus. That's why I'm like, I, I don't really see the point in testing other than, than to see like it's proc rate. And then you can do a little math there, but then also you, you have to think about like, let's read it. It's proc rate. It's going to be a lot, a lot lower in Mythic Plus. It did get nerfed, Nev, but the way it got nerfed, if, I, if I'm remembering it correctly, is they basically just nerfed what it did in the game because people, it, so it was from like Avarice, I think. No. Yeah, it was from Avarice. And then in the next tier, people was, were still planning on using it. So they basically nerfed it because people were still going to use it in the next tier. So they, they cut down its numbers. But I think now that it's going to be current again, it'll probably land somewhere in the middle of its nerfed version in terms of efficiency and how much it gives you versus its um, like like normal starting point. Um yeah, so what I was trying to say is like its proc rate is going to be a lot less in Mythic Plus as a, a Mistweaver because we, um, yeah, nerfed the mana return. We, what am I saying? Oh, we don't like cast healing spells as often in Mythic Plus, whereas in Raid, I'm sure you can imagine this will proc a lot more with our Yulon build. Um, so it's just easier to, to test this in, in, um, in Mythic Plus. 
But it's funny because um, one thing I've noticed about PTR testing is DPS players are the hardest to find, which is like the opposite of uh, retail, like like normal WoW. Because like obviously there's so many DPS players queuing up there, but like not a lot of DPS players like come here and test things, you know. So yeah. But we're gonna be playing with Naltharian's Call to Dominance and Beacon. Two trinkets that I love. I love these trinkets. But it is worth noting. Um, there were a couple moments where our warlock, especially on the, the second, the third boss, our warlock almost died a couple times, like survived at like a couple hundred health or a thousand health maybe. And maybe if we didn't have Diarna's link to him, he would have died. So like, I mean, there is, you know, utility there in keeping like a squishy member alive. Also, this string gets really cool or Broodkeeper's Promise, I'm sorry. This tree gets really cool on like Holy Paladin, uh, because you can beacon two people and then Brewkeeper's Promise the the third DPS, and then you that third DPS are getting just spot healing from this, just a little bit of uh, bonus rolling healing, and then your two beacons are obviously getting just beacon healing um, from all of your healing that you're doing. Um, so I like Brewkeeper's Promise a lot, but Ethereum's Call to Dominance is a goaded trinket for us Miss Weavers. Um, how many trees have I done so far? So far on this stream, um, we did a couple retail keys that just did not go well. And then we did, um, we've done one monk key on this stream, but I have been testing in like almost all of my spare time on the PTR, but only specific dungeons. I'm working on getting content on, um, I'm sure you can guess, Algathar Academy is one of the first ones I've been doing, but just some other dungeons. I have not done a lot of PTR testing though. Um, as you can see, I have not completed any other dungeon. We literally do a, a couple pools and then people leave because there are affixes on and it's very annoying. <laughs> but I like to run with affixes so I can test them. I always do on death affixes in the uh, in the PTR. And I've also done some keys on my alts too on the PTR. Well, this guy has a ton of IO. This guy's been grinding. <clears throat> But um, yeah, we have all these trinkets ready to go. Also, Seedling is making a comeback for Raid. I'm excited about that. I'm excited to see if Seedling and Rashox is like the dream team that I think it's going to be. Um, but it's just always, it's hard to know just how powerful Rashox is going to be still. It might even be the case if Rashox is just performing less, which I, I doubt it's going to perform too much worse than it did before. But we could go like Neltharians and Seedling. But I just, I Seedling's so good. It's like, why would we, what world would we live in where we don't run Seedling? I would, those are probably our, our, our main three runners that I'm excited to test and raid. Like, Rashok, Seedling, um, Neltharians, and maybe even like, I don't think Whispering Incarnate Icon gets in there, but maybe in the maybe Broodkeeper's Promise. Those are going to be the main ones that I test when we can test raiding. Maybe we can already, I just haven't. We're, we're playing the DPS waiting game. About to jump into everyone's favorite dungeon, Halls of Infusion. A lot of people, like a lot of people avoided this dungeon like the plague um, when it was live. But it's because of how difficult to heal some of the bosses are. We'll see if we can remember our our like rotation, how I would he how I would, how I would deal with the healing. I don't know why I'm flying over here. It's like okay, we're going the wrong way. Oh no, oh no, I just pressed the wrong button. Just halted. Get our stuff back and then fly back this way.
Yeah, DPS players are so hard to find on PTR. I have no idea why. I guess like us healers and tanks love testing things. Whereas DPS just like bashing their head into a wall. That, that's my only explanation. Oh yeah. Wrong one. How's it going? Hey, it's it's going pretty good. We did some retail keys and then we hop we're hopping on the PTR right now doing some testing. Um I loved halls as a DPS. I'm kinda afraid to heal it. Yeah, it's definitely a, a different beast as a healer, but I've heard it's the, the pool size is really good. Like, you never really pull one enemy at a time. At the very minimum, I think you pull, like, two enemies at a time. Other than bosses, but you usually sit around, like, five targets in a lot of pools. Like, more or less. And um, that's, like, just a good target count for a lot of DPS. Because a lot of stuff's, like, soft capped at five targets. So you're just doing the most efficient, like big number per button press like you're not doing like massive aoe stuff but like i know a lot of spells kind of find a sweet spot around there but yeah it definitely is a fun dungeon it's definitely tough to heal that's why i want to do it but it looks like a lot of people are scared of it because we just had both of our teammates leave Ugh. oh here's another group Maybe this is where our teammates just went. Ayo, okay. We have a 10 halls. Um, are we doing any actions? Hopefully we're doing at least tyrannical. No, for any chance we can run terror. Everyone loves testing Fort. Because it's just easier as a DPS to test Tyrannical. Because you can just see just how much AoE damage you can do. And people like seeing big millions numbers. Pick one here. I want to show you guys these bosses. They also changed uh, the final boss in this dungeon. I'm pretty sure that's the one that they changed. I will need to go back through and read all the um, dungeon changes. But I know in Neltheris, um, the one time that I did it, people are like skipping all the pools that you would do before. And it's really funny. It's like... The, the dungeon looks so different how you do it. I don't... I, I hate Neltheris like I always have. Um, but at least now it's like a different dungeon than it was. But I hope you're doing well, Blamed Fate. Good to see you back. <clears throat> Halls is Halls is definitely a beast. It really is. Ooh, I'm gonna have to do something at the start of the street. Alright, this this song has been going on for ten minutes now apparently. Very slow. 
talking about for whatever's next. We let, for those that miss it, we let AI kind of decide a playlist for us. Um, uh-oh. Also getting her hunched. What's going on? All right, show time. He said it's tyrannical halls, so hopefully we get to show you guys. Yeah, they definitely changed this dungeon quite a bit from what I remember. Not too sure what it looks like. Oh boy, we got some dubstep coming in. Oh man. I'm gonna put like chill gaming. Chill gaming? See what it gives us. Yeah, for some reason my PTR sound is just broken. Like it actually is just broken. I tried everything. Alright, let's get let's let's go, gamers. Ooh, we are triple pulling this. I like that, but I guess we're doing it. Oof. It's still squishy. as much stuff as I can. We're going to drop a beacon. Whoa. Take the demoralizing shout. Watch the spear flurries. We're chilling. Ooh, we're going left. Interesting. Spulse. That needs to be kicked. And ricochet loons, watch the jumps. We're so chilling. Back up our tiger palms. Pop Chigi, and we're rolling. Never really go left on this dungeon. If I'm remembering correctly, let's shoot a G burst through that reset. Love out the tank a bit. Get the expulse. See, so the only it looks like the only um, thing that we have... Okay, we have reduced damage inflicted. The only affix that we have is Tyrannical. Which is kind of what... what it's kind of par for the course on PTR. People do not like running a lot of affixes on PTR for some reason. Interesting. I guess we got an engineer in our group. Sip up our tea as much as we can. And watch the casts. 
take what we can. It was kind of a bad thing of peas, if I'm being honest. A cheesy here. Sunshine is really not bad on a, t a 10. So I got splatted. We couldn't really do much about that. You guys getting targeted by a beam. We can do something about that. I want to drop a bomb, but I kind of don't. I drop it here. Let's just rip it. How much damage? Bang! 400k across the board. Getting clapped by Spear Flurry. That's my bad. And the frontal. Oof. I just stood in everything there, huh? Rip a Shaylins. Are so good. Once again, the deaths have been pretty avoidable. I don't think we could have done anything to save. I think they both got kind of like one shot. All right, this boss. Here we go. What's weird about this boss is he starts like at a lower health. You gotta watch out for the frontal. Static Surge, I know it changed. I don't know how, but you can usually commit like one cooldown per static charge. It'll be fine. I remember also what I would do is for the first one, I would just have pots rolling and just kind of save my, um, my cooldown. Interesting, interesting drops. I think we pulled the boss over here because we wanted drops over here, I would think. You yeah, see there, I'm, I, I use a, a small Shaylunes, and then for the scarier ones, we can use uh, Chi -G. Interesting, so they go away now. I'm pretty sure these things used to just always persist also. You hate to see it. Oof. And revival this. Already Tyrannical's taken its toll. We have had a victim already succumb. Pretty cool that you, you tank him over there. Um, so that his walk is longer, I guess, is the optimization there. In our, our like ranged spells that do damage. Ooh, you hate to see it. Gotta stay out of that circle. And rip an early Shaylunes, and then we can just do some spot healing around. So it looks like everyone kind of does this. They tank on, tank on the edge, and then um, they drop in the middle, which is kind of unique. Very different from how it used to work. Used to tank in the middle, run your, your orbs out to the edge, because they used to be permanent, but interesting new boss, dude. As we save Shade Lanes here. Shaylunes. I don't really know what killed the warrior. Oof. But yeah, that is really bad. I think it's the mage that isn't running it out. Maybe... One of these guys is not running their, their static thing out.
we can play and we'll just rip a Shaylin's. Finish the boss off. Been GG for the cocoon. Might as well. Oof. Pretty poor execution if you ask me. Hey, what's up, few socks? Hey ho at all. Welcome in. Desidin. How are y'all doing today? This playlist is kinda kinda weird. We'll skip. Welcome in guys. Happy Friday. Hope y'all are doing well. Hopefully your weeks have gone well. Maybe you got promoted. You ate a good meal every day this week. I don't know, whatever it may be, hopefully it was a good one. We are not there. I was dealing with music. Bear me. A warrior, run to me. Ugh. Got nothing. Got to stun though, slow down the application of the dot. We have revival, but I don't think it's necessary, right? Yeah, we didn't need to revive. Just chilling on the PTR, dropping some beacons on people. Right in the dome. Chicken dazzle. Oh my god, I just got flashbacks. Were any of you guys watching me when... Um, was it a video or a stream where one of the flies fell through a crack here in the ground? And it made it to where we couldn't... Like, we just could not drink for mana. Like, we were always in combat. We just... I don't know. It just made the whole dungeon horrible. Anyone here for that? Because that was a... That was an experience. That was pre mana T too, so... Really bad time. Alright, we move along. There are a lot of casts that can go off here, so you have to... Be on top of it with your kicks. We also have leg sweeps, so I'm gonna start with that. Nice, we won't even get a shot to leg sweep. Okay. Here, I remember these guys root a player, and uh, we have the Tigers lost them out of it. Zephyr's call. Calls a bunch of little ads to fight alongside them. Oh, oh, that was my fault. I was supposed to dispel. My bad. I was waiting for I was sitting here watching the cast bar, but no, he had already done it. So I guess it's... What is it that applies it? Zephyr's Call, I guess, is what applies it. Cauterize. You don't want him doing that. I'm pretty sure that's the self-heal. Zephyr's Call. We're just watching health bars. It's on me. Everyone's going to have to move out. I guess I could have chiji would that. But why not just... Self-dispel. You always want to be tr uh, targeting Kairaz because he has the higher health pool and he'll keep you here, basically. The debuff on. And drop bomb as well. I guess it's going to split the damage while the ads are out, so maybe it wasn't the best play, but. Alright, this boss is kind of scary, especially in Tyrannical Week. This is like the first of a few. Kind of scary bosses. Totally forgot plus 10 equals plus 20 now. Yeah. Pretty sure that's that's the case. Is, is kind of how it's scaled. Um, so this boss, man. I, I remember he jumps. Overpowering. Okay, I know I want cooldowns for that. Yeah, that's the big damage. For this next one. Oh, also we have to watch the dot application. Um, and keep all the ads in there. Also, a player has to get eaten or he will enrage. So 
I think he, I think our druid can soothe this if he wants to. What I like to do is I like to sit at um, stacks of. What am I trying to say? Sit at stacks of my um, tiger palms. Or when he does his enrage, or his, that's enrage, that's a bad word, overpowering, because now I can, Chigi, he is enraged, that hurts, we did not pop a defensive, it looks like no one did, but yeah, him, him being enraged is <clears throat> horrible. I just sat there. Letting those guys get okay. No one's getting eaten. Someone has to get eaten. That's got to be the tank, right? We're gonna let it. <clears throat> oh yeah, I don't think we can get out of this one. Yeah, that enrage overpower is like ridiculous. Let's just let it eat us. Yeah, see, he doesn't enrage when he eats you. But it's, like, very tough on a DPS or healer. Um, tank has... Oh, also, if you let someone hit 10 stacks, they die instantly. We gotta watch that. Can you, like, leave me alone? We have Revival. We're just gonna... Oh, we tried. We ripped it too late. Let's two-man this, though. We can do it. Six stacks on me. Nah, we just got we got chomped to bits. Yeah, gulp. He eats all the the frogs, but he also needs to eat the tank, or he goes in that enrage. Oh, the walk back. Apparently, they added a um a different another respawn point because this walk pack is. Awful. When you're trying to time a key, you're already close on time. You have to walk all the way from the start of the dungeon. I don't remember where they added it to, but I know they added it somewhere. Um, uh, which healers do you have on 3k now? Ooh, um, only only Mistweaver and Disc Priest. But we have 39 or 2960 on the Shaman. We're basically like one week's worth of grinding away on the Holy Priest. It's just it needs to be a tyrannical week. Um, the rest are, are probably not gonna get there in time. There would be no way to get there in time and also pump out season four content. Um, but we'll see. I mean, we just gotta take do what we can. Yo yo, back just got in from work. Hopefully, you had a good day at work. Happy Friday and welcome to the weekend. Pick your feet up and relax. Yeah, it's the weekend, guys. Will you do the same challenge in Season 4? I don't think I'll do the same challenge, but I do think I'll revisit this challenge in the future. Um, <clears throat> but not two seasons in a row. You work tomorrow too? Aw, oh, man. Well, it's Friday night. At least, hopefully you have Sunday off. <laughs> um, but I will, like, ne next season I will be pushing. I think I'm going to sing like single out one character and push IO on that character. It's going to be my monk. So instead of going wide, we're going to see how far we can push. And maybe I, I might get into like a push group. Um, that way I'm not just pugging everything. We'll see. We'll see. I don't know what the future holds. I just know what I can, like all the guides and stuff I, I can do. Hey, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday off. That's awesome. That's a good schedule. It's a great schedule. Because then you can get your last second grinding in on the weekends um, before vault day. Nice. You ever tank or DPS stuff off stream? I used to, but ever since I started this challenge, few socks, I have not had much time to do other stuff. Um, like push on my main character, push on tank or DPS. What I'm thinking about doing is doing like a similar challenge, but instead of getting all seven healers, I get Mistweaver, Brewmaster, and Windwalker. Because as a main healer, it's easier for me to get 3k on a, an alt healer than it is on a tank, for example. Like. Me trying to get 3k on a tank would be, oof, would be tough to watch. Pop a defensive, pop GG. 
I guess we can just let it eat us, but that is not ideal. I eat someone though. Nice. See, this fight is very easy when you when you let it actually eat you. Powering. Yeah, y'all stay, stay on the boss. Bruh. It's getting chomped to bits. Chigi ready though. Pack up our tiger palms. Pop Chigi. Stun out. That was a little early. We have revival. I, I like to sit on revival for this boss as much as I can because one, there are some panic scenarios where it's like very necessary, like this one, where multiple people have stacks and someone's about to die. But also, these next few pools, Revival is kind of goaded for, so. Nice half. Belly Slam on me. Oh, thank you. Pop a defensive. Oof. Boss down. Yeah, boss is super easy when the tank lets it eat him. Um, my main Brewmaster Monk, it's the most fun tank in my opinion. Oh yeah, I love Stagger. It's such a cool, cool mechanic. Quick, nimble, has Stagger. That's all you need. I feel like here, it's nice to have um, Revival for the Master Spell. Not the end of the world, though. It is just tyrannical, so these guys won't hit as hard. We can kind of just let it chunk into us. I usually like reviving that first one, so that you can revival the last one and, and get max like revival efficiency. Sometimes that boss just has to eat your revival, and I think it's it's kind of tyrannical fortified dependent. Um, we're gonna cheek cocoon that guy, or uh, life cocoon that guy. A kick so these casts don't go off. We're gonna pop a defensive for that. Pop Chigi. Oof. Let's drop a bomb. Bam. Love beacon. I, something about it is just so satisfying. You just call down a meteor. Really cool. Uh, we're gonna target this. Still don't have revival, but that's okay. We now at this point we just want enough for the boss, especially on tyrannical week. Very important. You have all your cooldowns ready to go on this boss. This is the tough boss. The big wall for a lot of people. What keeps them out of halls of confusion? Spinning crane kick, stay out of these circles. A touch of death so that cast doesn't go off, doesn't really panic us. Going into this boss with as many tiger palm stacks as we can. Luckily, we got all four. As we walk, we're gonna protect that totem or this little pillar. So we don't need to stand on it because we're gonna be baiting. That's one thing I remember is you, you bait. So we want to stand like over here so we don't bait toward a good ice block. The tank is, I don't like where he's baiting. Yeah, because now, ooh, that was risky. But you'll notice I'm letting, I'm letting us tick away without popping a cooldown. The main thing about this boss is you have to be comfortable with um, 
letting people get kind of low because um, this boss is a slog. And if you if you feel like you need to pop a cooldown whenever you see someone take any amount of damage, that's how you you really start to struggle. You hate to see it. Um, also, standing in bad will get you killed. If we're baiting those cyclones a little close, ooh, what are we doing? This one that we're we're baiting behind is very risky because it's gonna blow up that one behind us. Apparently not. But I'm cycling my cooldowns. I'm trying not to use them too quickly one after the other. But I'm also cycling in my defensives to kind of, um, I don't know, help, help with that. Help with the amount of healing that needs to be done. Also, the dispel is, is pretty low priority, um, actually, which is it's kind of weird. That's just the case. Um, it kind of, in a lot of cases, just take it. It'll be bad. Uh oh, those are gonna explode. I love that they added an indicator for that. So that was always really annoying about this boss. Glacial surge. But always, like during this phase, I always try to get as many um, enveloping missiles as I can, just to help with the healing. We're gonna bait Cyclone this way. But yeah, yeah, we want to hide behind this ice to our left. Like whenever you have to stack here, you still just have to be doing healing. Um, right now, a plus 10 is, is really not that bad, but usually like when you push higher keys, like if, if we do like a plus 15, like it would get more scary. Like I'm sitting on all three of my cooldowns right now, which is like never the case on this boss. I guess we can go ahead and roll a chi Having two people dead, though, is kind of making us feel <laughs> pretty brutal. Ooh, he got hit by the cyclone. We are making sure that we're not baiting a cyclone. Toward, um, a healthy ice block. Looks like there are no current healthy ice blocks. Okay, there's one, so we need to bait like this way, maybe. Yeah, perfect. I shoot right between all those. We get to we get to hide behind this one. It's okay, you can be far out from these. Um apparently not. Oh my god. How did I? I don't know how that killed us, if I'm being honest. I guess maybe you can't be far out. I remember I used to stand out like, as long as you're LOSing, but I guess not. I don't know what blasted us there. Luckily, we're going to get another go at it because I think needs to just go ahead and wipe. Too far? That's the thing, though, is I don't think that used to be a thing, did it? I mean, yeah, but boss, we shouldn't have been free manning that whole time, but... I don't know, I just don't... I guess you can't get too far. <laughs> I don't know why I thought you could. Maybe it's that I knew that you couldn't, so that, like, when my brain's trying to recall all these memories that I've repressed since this was a thing. Um, it was just like, I remember there was a thing that you could either get too far or you can't, and I don't know, I just chose the wrong thing. Yeah, this boss, um, as HPAL on Tyrannical was super tough. Yeah, a lot of classes really struggle with this boss. Yeah, I mean, if none of the DPS die, then this boss is really easy, but yeah, Tyrannical is what makes this boss hard. We're doing a Tyrannical, but it's just a plus 10. I think if we bump this up to a plus 15, y'all would actually get to see me having the cycle abilities. But now here we just died to mechanics fails from like every player, basically. But y'all see, it matters where you stand at all points. Because if we were to have like been like where the boss is right now, if we stood right here, then we would bait a cyclone and it would break our, our best um, rock. Whereas now there are no healthy rocks, but it'll spawn some. 
Yeah, we had people getting hit by glacial glacial surge. The cyclone hit hit like two people. Yeah, DH is is good. Yeah, a, a ten is a twenty. That's what I'm saying. So like a fifteen would be more like a probably a twenty seven or twenty eight, like a tough key. Um, yeah, ten. This is basically like a current day twenty. Where's the tank at? Oh, I guess he's behind that thing. But yeah, yeah, I'm just saying, like, it, it is just, like, a plus 20, basically, in, in modern WoW. Which, I, like, I could do a plus 20 and kind of sit on my cooldowns, like I was now on the Mistweaver. Well. Classic gaming at its finest. I mean, people died quick. Like, we basically did so much of that boss's health bar without dps i think this is the spawn that they added but maybe this was already a thing not sure yeah this is basically just a, a plus 20 from um current wow while we're while we're walking I'm gonna skip to another song. That's that is the spot they added. Okay. Didn't feel super new, but didn't feel super old either. I have one. Maybe not that that last boss that we just killed, but I just feel like it just needs another one, which is crazy because it used to not have what it has now, you know. And it just felt like it needed. A lot, like it felt horrible before. Yeah, I don't know. AI definitely, AI cooked up this playlist. I don't, I don't really know if I like it or hate it. We're gonna just revival that. We might get revival up before the last boss, but since it's tyrannical, this final little mini boss up here, isn't too terrifying. At least I'm not I'm not too scared of her. I do know she requires a, a good chunk of healing. Dragon's gonna get another deep chill off, so luckily we have Chigi up. I think we're just gonna save it so that she can kinda mitigate it. Actually, let's just drop a drop a bomb on it. Yeah, 1.3 million. I like to see. Did they remove her? Where is she? Does she just come down after all the stuff dies? Oof, warrior. Yeah, there she is. Maybe that's just to protect you from, like, accidentally pulling her. Or, like, hiding behind. I don't know. Inundate. Big damage. Dang. Flash Flood. Ooh. Warrior did not get the memo. Just Chi. Chi Chi that. Ooh, we got Darkness too. That's actually fat. We could have saved Chi Chi. But now our Chi Chi kind of persists through the Inundate, which is, is always nice. Flash Flood, run, soldier, run. Followed by an instant inundate. We're gonna pop a defensive there. That way our spot healing can kinda act as a, a pseudo cooldown. Another inundate, we're gonna time our Shaylunes. Kinda pocket that. Flash Flood. Something's up with sound or mic. Yeah, something's up with my music. I, I My game is not making any sound. I have no idea why. It's just the PTR. Um, and I've tried re-downloading it. Uh, Control S. Like, I've tried everything. Um, you can't hear me anymore? Uh
Oof. Streamlabs is showing my mic moving. Is it still, still bugged? Mike is fine on YouTube, only Twitch can't hear. Oh, what? How does that even work? How's that a thing? Okay, here's the, the frustrating part of this fight. How many, why are they kicking all of them? Why? Why? Now double inundate's going on. Why are you gonna kick them then just leave them? Like, it, it actually makes no sense. People just don't, I don't know why they do this. Hey. Always sucks too. I'm, I'm so sorry, Twitch. I have no idea what's going on. But it always sucks when um when your your B reser dies. Is it just my voice that's down on Twitch? Is it is it also like the music? People, off defensives. Music and everything, uh-oh. Did I get like DMCA'd? I literally have I'm allowed to use this music. I'll have to check. Everything that I can tell, I'll switch back and see if it's broke. Oof. Let's see what's going on. What happened on Twitch? I hear myself. Can't. Oh no. Oh, and our viewership is tanking. Oh. Just don't know what's going on. Dang, dude. I don't know, but. I guess I, we're. I think we have to turn off the stream to figure it out, so. Maybe we refresh. Did it work? Work. Just, I have no idea, guys. I don't know why it does. There's just no sound at all. No, let's. I'm gonna have to, have to turn off the stream for a second. Let me turn off the stream for. A second. I'm gonna have to end the stream and start it back up. Which don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. Just hit refresh. Uh. I haven't, 